Okay, so I'm Akash Shrivastav. I represent a company called Jubilant Foodworks. We are the brand who spreads smile to your doorstep. We are Domino's. We also have about four brands called Popeyes, which is our uh, uh, fried chicken brand. Then we have Hong's Kitchen, which would be our Pan Asian brand, and we have Dunkin' Donut, the second largest coffee brand on the planet. Uh, I think very interesting event. Uh, not often we get an opportunity to uh, get uh, to interact with people who've done good for themselves and for the sectors. I think BWI has been able to get everybody together across a varied uh, field of life, uh, getting them to a forum where they are able to get a representation and to share their feedback, their journey for 12 to 15 years. I think it's a great initiative. Yeah. Uh, my first question. Uh, Okay, uh, so I think uh, there has been uh, two transitions happening right now. One would be uh, centered around value. So now value would become the core of any buying behavior. Value will bring you frequency. However, you would also have customers who would look for a certain level of experience, the bespoke thing. I think bespoke and value together can perform and you know build the sectors very well. So I think you have chance if you play it well. And I've seen brands like you know Butter, who are right where the mass market is, and also at a bespoke level where they are able to sell premium shoes also to the consumer. I think the right offering is what we really want to do. Okay. Okay. Uh, my next question to you: uh, Is it three years since the pandemic? I think the four most important thing here would be that we need to come together as one sector, uh, the retail sector. There are startups and entrepreneurs that we know of who are controlling end to end. The entire investments at the back end are being done by them. You only have to tap into what they are offering. Right from your truck movement, from your warehouse, to temperature control for food, to ensuring that the drivers are driving safely, to the food reaching the warehouses and the stores safely. I think all of that the startups are doing really well. If you are not looking at startup, you want to build it on your own. Uh, we need to invest heavily in supply chain because what pandemic taught us is the resilience, right? And the adaptability. The more you are able to spend in the back end, in the fundamental, the better the companies were. The smaller companies who stayed away from investing in technology, warehousing or supply chain have actually gone. Yeah, so it is even more important when the times are not right, invest in building blocks of life and for the food sector or the retail sector for that matter. Uh, so, uh, you know, embrace the technology that you have, make sure that the warehousing and the logistics things are there. The DME, the Delhi Mumbai Express to corridor is going to open up a lot of opportunity in warehousing. Tap there. Yeah, that's my uh, two pieces of advice. Thanks. Uh, speaking of technology, uh, tech has included almost every uh, field there is out yeah. there, right? Including media. How are you these days embracing technology to, you know, make online, online shopping or seamless? I think, uh, 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 you know, talking specifically about my sector, which is food, uh, the advent of AI, the internet, IOTs, and you know, the blockchain, these three are going to be critical for the coming three, four years. I'm not talking about metaverse, which is still very notional, but I think with the advent of technology, the retailers are embracing it really well. Be it, uh, you know, ordering through a pause, when you go to a restaurant, there is a tab with, with the, you know, service person who comes and keeps your ordering. The entire life cycle management of a consumer to know what your consumer is asking for, to know what he likes, what he doesn't like. All of that is only happening through technology. And what is technology doing right now? It is throwing real-time data. Real-time data for adaptability, which is again going to be the theme in the next seminar. But then uh, with the technology, you would be able to embrace data. With data, you would be able to bring more fundamentals into your business. With the fundamentals, you will be able to resurrect, know what is going to work, what is not going to work for you. So I think technology has to be at the core of whatever we do. Right, I agree, I agree, I agree with you. Uh, last question. E-commerce is uh, still the go-to place for e-commerce, right? But e-commerce is coming out as an big thing. As for you, uh, what are the growth, growth prospects for retailers as far as social commerce is concerned? I think we've been trying to tap into, uh, you know, these mass market or the influencers on social media, be it Instagram or Facebook or any other YouTube channels. 
uh, the authenticity of these people continues to be you know at large for people while we are trying to address a lot of questions from them what is important is that you know the government also sets up some mechanisms for the consumers to get the right information uh, retail of course are going to go because they are cheaper than any mass media you know going on television not everybody can afford it putting paper in shirts is not really legal doing a full paper ad may not have that kind of a reach and the youth you know which is going to drive the millennials and the and the gen z that we talking about are hooked on to your cell phones and not on a newspaper yeah so the best way to reach out to people and and the and the uh, you know ads that you see are very digital in nature and and they keep changing very fast with the changing time so i think this influencer are going to play a much larger role in changing and probably shaping the behavior of consumer in the current times however we have to be very conscious of the fact that they should not be changing it beyond a point the company should have the final control on what content is being aired by them yeah to get the right information to the consumers ultimately these are the company products being sold through the influencers all right thank you so much thank you for speaking thank you pleasure same here thank you